baseball fans. This is King Ikibu with Tiny Archibald live from Exposition Park in Pittsburgh where we are playing the third game of a four-game series between the 1906 Chicago Cubs and the 1909 Pittsburgh Pirates. I was not planning to broadcast this game, but we have another no-hit bid. This time, the candidate is Big Ed Rulebach, who is going for a no-hitter. He is in the seventh inning. The Cubs are up two to nothing. Thanks to Mr. Jimmy Slagle, who uh, had a two-out base hit with two men on that scored the two runs in the second inning, and that's all the scoring so far. So let's see if Rulebach can be the first in any of these videos to ever succeed in getting a no-hitter. Um, I guess we're starting at the uh, top of the seventh. However, Nick Maddox, the starter for the Pirates, is still on the mound, and he's going to pitch to Jimmy Slagle. And he strikes out. One out, base is empty. And here is Joe Tinker, the hero. He's two for two today for a 186 batter. That's pretty good. And he's going to give it well, three to for three and almost a home run. Or a possible home run, maybe. Let's see. Yes, if we roll a one, he'll have a home run. He only had one home run all of 1906, and this could be it if we roll a one. We don't roll a six, but he's still three for three. A career day for Joe Tinker. One out, men on first. Here's Rule Bach. Playing in at the corners. Oh, they're going to try to steal first. Not very likely prospect with this George Gibson, the catcher, but we will see. He does. Stolen base for Joe Tinker. So we have a man on second base and one out. One out, man on second. So I don't think Rulebach will uh, bunt anymore. He was going to bunt. But uh, let's see. He's a 157 hitter. Yeah, that, uh, well, roll the dice. Oh, I was just about to talk about that. A double play on the leaping catch over to second. Double play. Great play by Honus Wagner, and the no inning runs, is over. One hit, and none left on. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to do a quick check. There's a new feature on my software that the... Uh, I think it is working, so I think I am recording. That's a good thing. So here we go. We're going to see if we can get that elusive no-hitter here. At the bottom of the seventh, and we've got a no-hitter going. Okay, we have Dots Miller. He is 0 for 2, as most pirate hitters are. And that is a hitting column, but because of Rulebach's excellent nullification of base hits, he is out. One out, base is empty. Here's Abstein. He is 0 for 2. That's going to be a reoccurring theme here today. And he strikes out. Two down in the seventh. Could this be it? I don't know how many of these videos I've done possible no hitters and he never ever been successful never always a base hit somewhere so Two maybe out, today I don't want to jinx Mr. Rulebach but uh, that's what's on well, that's what's uh, at hand here today or at stake here today here's Chief Wilson if anybody can uh, break up the no hitter it's him he is a 315 batter Although in real life he was 272, but he seems to have great luck in this game. And he's, unlike the other guys, he is 0 for 1 because he was hit, hit by a pitch last time up. And he, no, he won't get injured, injured because he is 154 games. He never was injured in that season. Need so, need score. One, two, three. But we have a no hitter still going in the seventh Top through the seven. Eight. Here's Frank Chance. He is 0 for 3. And he's 0 for 4. Not a good day for the captain, the manager, Frank Chance. Here's the boost check for Maddox, and he's still in the ball game with seven more batters. One out, base is empty. Here's Johnny Evers, 1 for 3. Hit the good column, but strikes out, or pops out. So he's two away two here out, in the eighth. Base is empty. Here's Steinfeld, he doubled. Grounded to Dots Miller and struck out. One for three. And this might be an injury. Let's see if he's injured. 
No. That's good. An easy inning to score. One, two, three. It's the bottom of the eighth, and we've still got a no-hitter going. Okay. This is not the inning, perhaps, but the next one is going to be tougher because we're in the heart of the order. But we're in the bottom of the order here in the eighth. George Gibson is up. He is uh, he's hitting to two double plays. No, here's a double play and a bunt sacrifice. So he is 0 for 1. Oh, he, this is not a hit. This is a walk. I think a 15. It would have been 15, it would have been a hit. So he walks with the possibility of a wild pitch. No outs, men on first. So he's a wild pitch five, and Moran is a three. We could have a pickoff. That would be sweet. No, okay. So this is the most likely thing. It's only three. So we have to roll one, two, or three to prevent the pass ball. And we do. No outs, men on first. Okay, so will they pull him or will they bunt? They need two runs. It's a hit and run. A hit and run. Falled off. Now, when I do this, when it says pitch is falled off, hit and run is called off, I no longer have the option, but sometimes the, the computer does. No outs, men on first. No, not this time. Good. So will they... They don't even have the option to... Oh, yeah. Uh, I, we can't see it. We, do come, we don't see their options. Okay, well, I'm not going to bring the... No. Corners in. Let's see if they... Sacrifice. No. Nope. Another... See? There. Hit and run is called off. I cannot hit and run. But they can. It's a little bit of uh, discrepancy. Injustice, as you will. So here's Maddox. He successfully did the hit and run, and Gibson is on One second out, base. On second brings up Jap Barbeau. He is 0 for 3, popped out to Steinfeld and flied out twice to Sheckard. Now normally that is a hit, but Jap Barbeau is such a poor hitter that it's simply a short fly out. Two down in the eighth. Two outs, man on second. Okay, now we're in the dangerous territory. Two to four. Two to four of this Pirates team. And Wilson. If I did this batting average or batting lineup, I'd probably put Wilson in the fifth spot, Miller in the sixth. Then you'd have two to six really solid hitters, but uh, the computer doesn't do that for some reason. I'm not going to fix it for them. Here is uh, Tommy Leach. He is 1 for 0 oh for 2. Grounded out twice. Once to the pitcher, once to Johnny Evers, and he walked. Here's another walk. We're getting that much closer to Wagner. Two outs, men on first and second. Okay, two outs, and we have a very good hitter in Fred Clark. He's a 287 batter in real life, although in the replay he has struggled 223. But this could be the time. Let's see what happens. Another walk. This time's a hit by a pitch. So. Now here's something interesting. So he's hit by a pitch. Bases are loaded. Two out. Bases loaded. Two down. Now I've heard of like times when Babe Ruth would come up with the bases loaded and they would still intentionally walk him. Uh, I've heard that happening. I think it could be done with a uh, two-run lead, but uh, I don't have the 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 guts. I'll just put it that way. The guts to do that. I I've, I don't know. To intentionally walk somebody with the bases loaded because normally my policy is do not let Honus Wagner beat you but with the bases loaded if I had a five run lead or something yeah maybe but two run lead I don't know he could walk and then Miller could get a cheap hit and they would be ahead so now the danger one here you think well the home run yeah that would be dangerous 666 would be very bad right now but almost as bad would be a 1-1 the 40. This is clutch hit. These That would clear the bases with a double or maybe even a triple. So we don't want 1-1 one, one, and we don't want 6-6. Six, six. Okay? Let's uh, cross our fingers. Okay, we have an error possibility. So we could have... Steinfeld is a 44. So anything 44 or under, and we're out of the inning. If not... 
think it'll be only one. Oh, it depends. If he rolls a six in the blue, that would be a two base error, and uh, we'd be tied. So let's see what happens. It's a error, 45. The Pirates are on the board. Still, they don't have a, a hit yet, but they have scored, and they're only one run behind now. Two outs, bases loaded. Because of the error. That's the third error of the game for the Cubs, and here is... The key, always the key. Alfred E. Newman, Dots Miller. He could be the hero or he could be the goat. Let's see what happens. Fly ball to left field to end the inning. So. One run, no hits, one error, and three left on. Top of the ninth. So now the Cub lead is two to one. They still don't have a hit. But uh, I think that's kind of nullified by these three errors. That's what has cost the Cubs today. Here is Frank Schulte. Wild, wildfire Schulte is 0 for 3. Struck out. He had a ground ball unassisted to Abstein and a ground ball to Miller. And this time he's going around the horn here. He's hitting it to Wagner and he's out to the shortstop this time. One down. One out. Base is empty. Here's Sheckard. He's 0 for 3. Grounded to Miller. Popped out to Barbeau and grounded to Miller. And he is going to ground out again. This time again to Barbeau. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. And here's Pat Moran. Here's, uh, in real life, he was 252 hitter. In the replay, he's batting 440. He is one for three today. He had a single, flied out to Wilson in right, and a pop out to Miller to go one for three. Here's the luck of Moran again. He gets another hit up the middle, but he has the plus sign. And we have George Gibson to worry about here. Two outs, man on first. So this is going to be, I believe, a 46 or less. He is going to be thrown out. And there's no option to remove the plus. Here we go. Got to hope for 40, 51 or higher. And he's gone. So he raises his batting average, no but runs, really doesn't help the team. And none left on. It's the bottom of the ninth, and we've still got a no-hitter going. Okay, so we got the bottom of the order, although Chief Wilson is... Uh, he, if I had to bet money on who's going to break up this no-hitter, I'd say it'd be Chief Wilson. Uh, who knows, it's going to be Gibson or Epstein, but uh, it's not as likely, although he's not a bad hitter. He's batting 195 in the replay, though. Whew, that was close. One down, and it would have been over for the no-hitter. Here's the boost check. He does not, so here's, he's got the no-hitter going, but he does not receive a boost check. So, in other words, next One out, base, is empty. base runner, and he is tired. So that, that adds a little bit extra here. Couldn't roll more than a one, could you? Okay, here's Wilson. This is the man you would think that would do it. But he strikes out! One away from a no-hitter. Could this be empty. the first time we have a no-hitter? All these videos I've done, I probably haven't posted all of them. But I've every time I play this game or uh, the uh, action PC game and there's a no-hitter going into the seventh, I start recording. And uh, But each time it, uh, it usually leads to nothing. Usually there's a little cheap hit or something that ends it. But not this time, perhaps. We got one way to go. This is the furthest I've gone, so let's see what happens. It's George Gibson, excellent, excellent defender, but uh, 211 hitter. Although in real life he bad 265, so it is quite possible. Here we go. You're gonna use a oh, pinch, hit. pinch hitter. They do not want to give up a no hitter. Here's Ham Hyatt, and he is a really good hitter. Man, there's lots of danger here. There's this one's danger. The six two. The 6-4, the 6-6 six, six is danger. Uh, this 5-5, five, five, that's a hit. Pitcher can't do anything about that. Can't do anything about this, this, or this. So this is all in the hitter. These, mm, there's no hits here. And there's no hits here. Be oh, there's one. 3-6 is a hit. So we got 3-6. We have 5-5, five, 6-2, five, six, 6-4, six, six, six. Um, there's possible hit here if the pitcher roll is higher than four. It's, that's a possible hit. Uh, this one possible hit if we hit this and roll a six. 
And there's a hit here, 1-1. One, one. So I gave you all the possibilities. So let's see what the roll is. It's another error possibility, and they've already had three errors today. This time it's Frank Chance. I think he's a little bit better chance. Yeah, he's the only one in the 50s. He does it. Chicago wins a nail biter. So we have our first next time, this is no hitter, ladies and gentlemen, in the history of PC replay for me anyway. I'm sure it's been done many times for other people, but it's my first no hitter. It's a Cub no hitter. Ed Ruhlbach is the MVP, of course, because he has just pitched a no hitter, although he did not pitch a shutout because of the errors, but uh, congratulate Mr. Ed, Big Ed Ruhlbach for getting the first no hitter in PC replay King Ikibu history. Hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. Send a postcard to Ed Ruhlbach. Congratulate him for his accomplishment. And uh, we'll see you next time. Again, this is King Ikibu with Tiny Archibald live from Exposition Park in Pittsburgh where the final score, the Cubs 2, Pittsburgh 1. The Cubs move to 26-5, and five, and the Pirates fall to 19-10. and 10. And you just say, well, it doesn't say that. Well, when we click exit, it will update. And you see, here's the standings so far in the dead ball dynasty. The Washington Senators are still in first place by half a game over the Red Sox. One game ahead of Cleveland. One head game ahead of the Black Sox of Chicago. Two games ahead of the Philadelphia Athletics. And the surprising Indianapolis Hoosiers of the Federal League have won seven straight games. And they are one game below 500 and two and a half games out of first place. Then the New York Highlanders Yankees are uh, sixth. The Detroit Tigers are where they belong in the basement. And in the National League, the Cubs, 26-5 and five with a six-and-a-half game lead over the Pirates. They've won the first three games of this crucial series. They've won five straight. The Pirates have lost four straight. And then the Reds are threatening to pass the Pirates. These are the uh, 1919 Cincinnati Reds who beat the 1919 Chicago Blackhawks in that famous World Series. Then the Giants are 14 and 15. The Braves, the Miracle Braves of 1914 are 12 and 17. The Brooklyn Dodgers of 1916 are 11 and 19. The Chicago Whales of the Federal League, unlike their cousins of the Indianapolis American League, are not doing very well. They're 9 and 20, but they are not in sole possession of last place as there's the 15 Philadelphia Phillies who are joining them there. So we can see what is happening in the Nash, in the uh, Dead Ball Dynasty uh, League. And uh, yeah, well, again, once again, this is King Ikibu with Tiny Archibald saying goodbye, everybody.